originally called Carchidon by the Greeks, and later renamed Carthage by the Romans, the Carthaginian Empire was one of the huge ancient high cultures, located in modern-day Tunisia. Carchidon literally meant new city, and it was founded by Phoenician Queen Alyssa, also known as Dido. When Alexander the Great invaded the city of Tyre, the wealthier citizens fled the city and settled down in Carthage. They later made it the center of Phoenician trade thanks to superior navy and merchants who traded everything from textile slaves to finely crafted jewelry. The Carthaginian Empire soon grew to be one of the greatest powers in the entire Mediterranean. Ancient Carthage was all about trade and wealth. Their wars were always fought by mercenaries and not their citizens. The traders and mar maritimes of Carthage had a rivalry with the landholders, but the maritimes were the dominant faction because of their immense wealth. Like every other ancient high culture, Carthage also used slaves. But not much is known about how Carthage practiced slavery. The Carthaginians practiced polytheism, and their king of gods was called Melkart, and the Carthaginians would sacrifice a tenth of their income to the temple of Melkart. Other gods they worshipped included Baal. One of their religious practices included child sacrifice, but they also say that they practiced child sacrifice to limit their population. Now, how about the government and leadership? The most powerful high office in the Carthaginian government was held jointly by two magistrates who were elected annually, chosen by a senate of around 300 people, known as Safids. The Safids made the decisions about the navy and war. Trade was Carthage's great trait. Thanks to its location, Carthage could close deals with great empires like Rome, Egypt, and the Hellenic Kingdom. Trade got easier in the 5th century BCE, when the Ptolemies of Egypt used the same currency as many other empires, like gold, silver, copper, and electrum. The vast trading empire reached from England to Egypt. Wars Unlike Rome, Carthage liked trade and wealth more than wars, but of course they did have them. What destroyed Carthage was in fact a war, the Third Punic War. The Punic Wars were a group of three great wars, fought by the Roman Republic and the Carthaginian Empire. The Carthaginians were really Phoenician people, but the way the Romans called them were more like Punician or Punican and when it was used as an adjective, it was Punic or Punic. The words Punic still meant miserable in English. They still mean, the word still means miserable in English, which certainly would not have been true if the Carthaginians had won the war. The Punic Wars had some great heroes, like Carthaginian general Hamilcar Barca, his son uh, Hannibal, his son has Boudreau, his son-in-law has Boudreau, but at the end, Carthage met its demise. But if Carthage had won the war, the world would have looked way different today. Now here's a fun fact. When great Carthaginian general Hamilcar Barca had set out to re-establish Carthage in the area where Spain is today, after the embarrassing defeat in the First Punic War, he had founded a city near the coast, which he named Barcino after his family name, Barca, and today we call that Barcelona. <laughs>